Good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. Folks, this report, it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty wild, okay? So I almost put the clip of The View in here, but I didn't because the ladies of The View were, you know, I'll just cheering so happy about E. Jean Carroll's verdict. They went out to the theme song of The Apprentice and so on. But this is, I'm going to show you two clips of E. Jean Carroll juxtaposed. And I want you to see just how disingenuous this woman is as she talks about the $83.3 million, which will certainly be appealed. And I want to remind you right now and give you some hope. Stormy Daniels, Recall her? Remember when she had to pay $300,000 to Donald Trump after losing the defamation case appeal? Well, we very well could be seeing something like that again after all we've seen come to light. But check these clips out. The elation was so great on Friday. It filled me up. It was almost painful. It's taken really every day. Today, I'm just very happy because I'm calm enough to realize what she uh, did. It's been reported the exchange smiles with the jurors on the way out. Is that true? Yeah. Okay, seriously, George Stephanopoulos, I mean, how he smiles. at Could you imagine him doing this with Trump, giving him an interview like this and, and acting this way? Of course not. But I know this is gross, but just stay with me on this. What was that like? Well, it was very moving. It made me burst into tears because they met my eyes for the first time. It was very moving. You said you want to do great things with this $83 million settlement. Give us an idea about that. Don't want to waste money. Well, I do have an idea. I like to, it's, I like to give the money to something Donald Trump hates. If it will cause him pain for me to give money to certain, to certain things, that's right. my intent. Well, perhaps a fund for the women who have been sexually assaulted by Donald Trump. Okay, now keep that clip in mind, and as you watch this next one, remember, she's not going to waste the money. Very bitter woman, too, you can tell. I mean, just something that Donald Trump hates. She just wants to inflict pain. And then she's talking about, like, it's some greater good. Okay, get ready. Now, I know you're going to have to put up with Rachel Maddow, but just, again, bear with me. There's a point to all this. You've talked about using some of Trump's money that you're about to get um, to help shore up women's rights. Do you know what that might be, what that might look like? Yes, or, Rachel. Or, yes. Tell me. I had such, such great ideas <laughs> for all the good I'm going to do with this money. First thing, Rachel, you and I are going to go shopping. We're going to get completely <laughs> new wardrobes, new shoes, motorcycle for Crowley, new fishing rod for Robbie. Rachel, what do you want? Penthouse? It's yours, Nothing. Rachel. Penthouse and uh, France? You want France? You want to go fishing nope. in France? No? Oh. All right. All right. Okay. That's a joke. <laughs> A Although joke. if if me fishing in France could yeah. do something for women's rights, I would take the hit. You know, I would obviously uh, t take one for the team. I All right, let me, let me let uh, <laughs> me as if as if you need persuasion in that regard. Apparently, these ladies have figured out what a woman is again because they're talking about shopping. I'm sorry, I just had to throw that out there. But in all seriousness. You saw this, people. This is this E. Jean Carroll. She's not right in the head, okay? You even saw Rachel Maddow get uncomfortable. You heard her lawyer. That's a joke. They are uncomfortable with what she's doing because she's wrecking the messaging in this clip. That's why she had to then go out on Good Morning America the next day and try to correct that and say, don't want to waste any money. And I want you to remember, like, you know, Kathy Griffin, all these people who are so opposed to him, they all get their up and comings eventually. People, justice will come forth. Kathy Griffin right now, uh, her comedy tour is not selling well, and she's pleading with fans to buy the tickets. And just remember Stormy Daniels and the, the uh, $300,000, which I know is a paltry sum, but I want you to think about the reality that we're dealing with. These people are all out on a victory tour right now, which will make their eventual demise even more delicious. Just keep that in mind. And yesterday I made a video, and I want to say this again. I corrected it on a lie, but I just want to make sure I kill this point because unlike the mainstream media which runs Trump-Russia collusion for all these years and still hasn't denied it. They even get Pulitzer Prizes for it. 
Um, I had the wrong Rachel Levin as uh, married to the attorney of E. Jean Carroll. And so it's actually a different Rachel Levin. So I want to just get that out there. Um, and actually, a, a few of you in the audience had informed me of that. Thank you. And one of you even said, hey, I was kind of nervous about posting this because I really like you. No, if you see me, and it's actually a real error, if you can't handle correcting your errors, this is a business you need to get out of. Thanks so much for listening. Again, please check out my sponsor, MyPillow, mypillow.com, promo code Lumberjack for big savings. I love y'all. Peace out.